Hello. So let's uh, see what we can find here. Uh, so we switch to the manual choice and we go in here and I'm going to scan it. Uh, from this point, I'm going to um, go deeper. Uh, actually, what I'm, I'm searching for deeper uh, parts in the brain. And yes, I found it. So, uh, when you hover over, you will see uh, cortical cere cerebellar uh, hemisphere. Uh, so, we're going to uh, take that part and see what's going on there. Okay, not too much if we going to see much of the parts uh, are okay, but only here we can go to the neuron. And the point I want to make is sometimes if you scan, um, you have to go deeper to find it. Um, unlike I'm doing right now. Sometimes the, the uh, automatically scan, it doesn't find it, but you have to go deeper and see if you can find it, the problem. And there are also some cases that you don't even see, uh, like, okay, uh, like in here it's four, but even deeper uh, on the three can be worse. So, you have to really search, I mean, if you have, uh, uh, at your high school or at your school, the, the anatomy, then you have to know it very well, to go and make sense of it. Uh, but even if you don't have any uh, experience with the anatomy, um, you could go and just click and search on it. So if you click on it and search on it, you will see uh, maybe there's something here. But okay, that's not all. Uh, of course, I can go even deeper, uh, but what you really have to find is the um, microorganisms and uh, pathomorphology. You see everything is uh, very uh, high on this uh, CSS values so uh, even if I go to the adjust all mm, we could see that there is one thing it's a uh, 0.5 so but the point is uh, to find, uh, to go even deeper. So if you can't find anything, you can go deeper and search for it. So this is a short uh, video and see you next time.